you can use the red line, blue line, orange line, a bus or a train. Some of you might be using DART to get to the fair park this weekend. Although many of you will drive down there, please be prepared for the long lines and very hard to find parking spots. But however you choose to get there, most of you have already heard of the State Fair famous Fletcher's Corny Dogs. So on my visit to the fair, I caught up with the Corny Dog Queen herself, Mrs. Glenda Fletcher, to learn more about the Corny Dogs and see what she had to say. Yes, my husband that passed away earlier this year. Uh, when, I was, when I was doing my research, it, it said he had a nickname of the Corny Dog King? Yes, that's what everyone called it. And how did he get that? Well, because he was already always here. He was known as the Corny Dog King. My husband's father and uncle were given an opportunity to come up with a creation for our State Fair of Texas in 1942, and they developed an idea for a, a hot dog on a stick that people could carry around and they could deep fry so that they could sell a lot in a short period of time. This is our 75th anniversary this year. 75? 75. Wow. Yeah. Are you allowed to give out the secret recipe? Not at all. <laughs> it's a secret recipe. Other booths and concessions may sell you what appears to be a corny dog. Might even taste a little like a corny dog. But if you want an authentic corny dog, be sure you go to Fletcher's. And Gotta keep it running. <laughs>